So we're out here on the patio and today what we're going to be doing is unboxing an umbrella. This is one of those really wide but kind of narrow so it's I think 15 by 7 feet. So it's quite a large umbrella but not a circle umbrella so we'll see how it works out. So this is the box it comes in. It's quite large actually and it weighs looks like 43 pounds and then the umbrella itself weighs 38 and a half. So that's the size of the box and it's made in China. So this is actually an Amazon branded umbrella or at least that's how it was sold and that's where I got it from Amazon and it does come with a base which is really nice because normally you have to buy that separately and they do have a few colors and we got the burgundy red the next thing we need to do is looks like lay it down and it does look like it flaps open so let's cut these straps off all right so once you cut all the tape around loose it should just open up and this is how it comes packed so it looks like everything is individually wrapped so I'm not sure exactly what this is. We do have an instruction manual and a little bit of hardware. So it looks like these items are labeled, like this one is F. Looks like some kind of brackets. It's probably part of the stand, I'm guessing. And it is all labeled, so that's good. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely the bottom. And we also have these, looks like some corners. Let's go ahead and get our instructions. Let's see what we got here. All right, so here they show us all the included parts. All right, so in the middle of the manual here, it has the steps of what we need to do. So it looks like step one is putting the A and B, these guys here, together. So the A will go first. And then the B goes inside of it. Just like that. So then we go to step two, which is grabbing the C this guy here and then putting the four bolts and washers through that so basically it's gonna go like this and it does come with a little wrench so we're gonna put the washer through the bolt like this and then we're gonna start the bolt right here so after that what you're gonna do is grab the wrench and tighten it very snugly and that's it we can go to the next step all right, so step three is putting these corners on the ends. And they just literally go right in here. You can see the shape right there. They slide, the piece of metal slides into here. Just like that, so. All right, which takes us to step four, which is inserting the E. They're just gonna lock into here through the side. There's like a groove. Simply just gonna go from the top down. And so these braces here will hold the ends together. Pretty simple. The last one and there we go so you can see we have a pretty nice looking base all right for step five it looks like we need sand or soil and i guess we're going to fill up the f's which the f is right here these bags and i guess you put the sand or soil inside the bag there's a little slit right here that's velcro if you open it up you can see there's a hole there when you get a full of sand or soil it'll fill up and make a shape that kind of looks like this I guess and then you simply just put them inside here and then you have a G which is the cover so once you put your soil in it and then this thing which is the G it actually goes on top like a cover for this whole thing but you will need to take these off first because it doesn't go through just like that and then it'll stretch over and the good part is it has these little locks here that grab around and then have a little nice aesthetic look kind of like that so that's one thing to consider with this umbrella is that you will need to put sand or soil of some sort in those bags all right guys so here's my progress so far i am using sand it's actually for a pool filter and i'm filling up this bag but before i filled it up i actually put two bricks in here also because i just have this one 50 pound bag of sand and I'm going to split that into two. It looks like it's just about right. Probably needs a little bit more. Since I added those two bricks here, that should give me plenty of uh, volume and weight also. So this side I haven't filled yet. I'm going to show you the brick that I'm using. It's one of those pretty heavy brick actually. And then just putting it in there inside the bag. And it's laying down just like that. So there's another brick right here also. You know, it's got pretty good weight on it. Which I think would be plenty. So the way these bags go is the, the mouth goes up. So you can fill them right where you got them and you don't have to carry them around. So I'm just gonna put that brick back in there and fill this one up, which I got about half a bag left. And I wanted to put a little more on that side because my wind blows this way most of the time, so I need more weight on that end. So far, so good. After this, I'm gonna cover it, and then I will put the umbrella on top of it. All right, guys, so I got the sand in it and put this cover on. To be honest, it doesn't look great, but it's not too bad. Not too sure about the look, but it's not that bad, so 
I'm okay with it. Plus it's going to be kind of behind everything anyway, so you're not going to really see it. So we do still have a couple more pieces. So we have the main umbrella and then the pole. And this is quite a large pole, guys. So this is a big umbrella, so it needs a pretty beefy pole. On one end of the pole you can see there's threads, and we're going to thread that into the umbrella. I'm just going to simply thread that into there. Alright. And then we're going to tighten it up pretty good. And now we're going to take this plastic off and we can go ahead and insert the umbrella into the base. And there we go, the umbrella is on. Now we can go ahead and tighten it. So the pole went all the way down, pretty you know, sturdy in there. We can go ahead and lock it in. And so now it won't twist around. And that's also quite important because this umbrella is not round, but it's more like a big oval. And you can tell by those three peaks there. So inside the umbrella, there is a crank right there. It's kind of hard to see right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and crank it. And this thing should start opening up. You guys can kind of see how it's made here. All right, so it's opened up and it's huge, guys. It's absolutely huge. Um, let's see if I can stand back here. It is humongous. Like, I have to go back really far so I can show you guys. But yeah, you can see how big that is. Very large umbrella. And that's kind of what we wanted back here, something large enough so it could cover, you know, quite a bit of area. So this umbrella is gonna make a lot of shade over here. Now I kind of have to figure out where I want it for the shade. So the sun does go that way. So eventually the shade will start moving this way. All right guys, so it's actually been a week since I installed the umbrella and it's down right now as you can see. And this is where it ended up being kind of in that corner because of the way the sun is. Believe it or not, it covers all this couch here with just that one umbrella. And as the sun goes down, it keeps shade exactly where we need it. So overall, the umbrella has been doing pretty well. So let's go ahead and crank it back up. So the mechanism has been working pretty well overall. And this pin goes right in there. So right now it's midday and we don't really sit out here at this time. But later in the day, you guys can kind of see where the shadows are. So the edge is about here and this side's starting to get shady. So in about an hour, all this will be shady or even less and that'll be around 1 p.m. So overall, it's really nice and it's definitely a great value for what you get. This is a very large size umbrella and has a pretty huge footprint of shade. And you can see the shade behind the couches here. Now the only issue that I've had is when it gets pretty windy, the wind blows on this umbrella, it kind of twists it like uh, counterclockwise and it ends up unscrewing from this pipe here. Now I tried to tighten it really hard with tools and everything. I got it super tight but it's still somehow I guess the leverage from the umbrella being so long. You know if it twists like this it tends to unscrew there. So but it only happens when it's really windy and I haven't had too much issue with it except for once. So if it's going to persist I might have to drill a hole and put a pin through it that way it doesn't you know spin around. But other than that whatever we put in there is plenty. It's not tipping over or not showing any kind of signs of flying away so that's a good thing because this thing's kind of like a huge parachute here. So yeah guys, overall an excellent umbrella and I would definitely have to give this thing a huge thumbs up. And if you're needing a large umbrella, this is definitely a great choice and a great value. If it lasts for a year, I would be happy. So overall, I'm very pleased with it. Alright, well hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, then hit that like button. If you want to get an umbrella like this for yourself, they have a few different colors. So I'll leave some links in the description. Check that out. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos like this and other things I do on this channel and you're not subscribed, then hit that subscribe button to see more. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next. Peace.